Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I present more Shinkansen space plane testing, in this case the abort system. The newly improved Shinkansen space plane has an abort system there. That abort pack also shares fuel with the forward RCS and it pushes the crude section there off of the back end which contains all of the rest of the fuel plus the carrier plane. And so here we are with the pad abort test. And as you can see, there it goes. We just had the couple and fire the engines immediately. They are methane and oxygen engines, so they have to fire pretty quickly. And it hit the ground really fast, even though it survived. It's clear that the parachutes didn't deploy quickly enough. So I decided I'd have to work on that. But before I broached that subject, I decided to do an in-flight test at max Q, maximum dynamic pressure, where the loads on the plane might be high, though not necessarily the acceleration. And there you see it sort of gets stuck for a little bit before dropping off. Now the space plane is coupled to the carrier plane at the uh, at the abort system, so that's why you saw the back end sort of drop off as well. And that's a complicated business too. We would like this to move forward before that one moves back. But anyway, it did manage to get away, deploy its parachutes, nothing exploded. And I was interested to see what its dry mass actually was, and so I dumped the methane and oxygen in here. And as it splashed down, I found out we're talking about, let's say, 19 tons. 19 tons dry, which is really heavy, considering this isn't actually that much crew volume. It's enough to have four people go to the moon in, but, well, and more luxuriously than Apollo, but it's not that much, so... I might want to cut down on the mass of that going forward to optimize things we know that we need more delta V. Since it looked a little bit sloppy the previous time, I decided to try the abort the SpaceX wave since NASA seemed to approve of that, where SpaceX shut down the engines on the Falcon 9 prior to doing the Dragon 2 abort test for the Crew Dragon. Uh, our plumes on the abort engines seem weird. We've got this plume that's forward of the nose. I don't know why. Uh, Pekka had suggested that was because of some bad scaling, but it didn't seem that way. Anyway, that sort of worked, and I didn't need to go through the parachute phase. Instead, I decided to try something a little bit different as far as the order of things. I decided that we would pre-ignite the abort engines before decoupling. And I think Pekka had mentioned that the Dragon did this. It actually ignited the engines, shut down the Falcon 9 engines, and then separated them. And so I tried that with the pad abort. And so it does it like that. Still would have to happen pretty darn quickly, but we, we did it pretty quickly, actually. So here we see the parachutes deploy. And this time they just barely have enough time to slow us down to a nice velocity before we touch down again. So that's possible. Uh, that way, because we've pre-ignited the engines, we get the full acceleration right away before it starts flipping all over the place, and then that gives us enough height in order to deploy the parachutes properly. I tried the same thing in flight to see how it would look and whether it improves how we separate from the carrier plane and the back end. And so here we are approaching max Q again. But I do have to fix the plumes, I don't know. Here I, I ignited those really early, so... That's a little bit of a issue, but anyway, the abort engines do get well over four G's of acceleration, uh, so four G's of thrust weight ratio with the front ends, even though it's so heavy. So that's not, you know, we're not cheating too much on that. I think it's about five G's of acceleration. And here we go. We have deployed parachutes, and it will splash down safely. So there you have it, those were the initial abort tests with this uh, version of the Shinkansen space plane. Our abort system sort of works, maybe not 100%, but if it's blowing up, it's probably a good deal to take the chance, I guess. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.